Welcome back to another episode of Benjamin's Merchandise Reviews. Today we will be looking at... So, sorry that the Gordon episode is coming after the James episode. The reason why that happened is because YouTube ref uh, didn't upload the original video. So, this is a reshoot. So, sorry if I sound a little bit ticked off. But anyways, let's look at the first Gordon. Old Trekmaster Gordon. And as you can see, this thing is beat up. The, the front wheels are gone on both sides. The coal's gone, and I don't think a battery can even fit in there anymore. The switch is gone. But however, it's a good model. The only problem with it is that the... Boiler stripes aren't there, but they're, the, the nice square buffers are there. The face is good. Classic series style. When the coal was here, it did have texture, and the windows are open. So nice model going on there. Next we have... New Trackmaster Gordon, which is a complete letdown compared to the original. Like all the other tra new Trackmasters, unpainted buffers. The face is only okay. Bo At least the boiler stripes are still there, but the wheels look wrong. The cab windows are only painted. And the tender is cheap, cheaply made. It also seems too short, this model. It's, it's as short as the others. But next we have Wooden Railway Gordon, which is a really good model. So, this has pr practically the same face as the tra new Trackmaster Gordon, and like I said, that face was only mediocre. Therefore, therefore this model's face is also mediocre. However, it has a nice long body, boiler stripes, tenders nice, nice amount of wheels, very good model. Next is Take Long Gordon. And it's basically only the front side that has a problem here. As you can see, that doesn't really look like Gordon, the face. And also the buffers are square instead of rectangle or square like they should be. However, if you ignore the front, though, the body's really nice. The stripes are there, lots of details, the dome, the whistle, wheel arches, nice amount of wheels, see-through cab, go-in cab, and nice tender. And finally, the mini. I guess I don't expect a whole lot from mini models. I shouldn't. But this still does have problems. It, it's clearly just a recolor of other minis. If you can see that, this, the buffers are circle, not square. Just like the track mat, just like the take along. The boiler stripes are still there, that's good. It's very squashed though, not very long. Coupling doesn't work. But I guess I shouldn't be bashing on a mini. It's too small to have that much detail anyway. So if I were to say which one's the best and which one's the worst, I'd give the best to actually the old Trekmaster Gordon. It's sad that I can't use this model anymore because of how broken it is. It's such a good model. Other than the lack of the red stripes on the boiler, it's really accurate. And worst is new Trackmaster Gordon, the two Trackmasters. Compare the best with the worst. And that does it. Okay, because this is out of order, the next episode will actually be Percy, because the James episode was already uploaded. So, goodbye.